How you guys doing? So now I'm going to be posting another tarantula video, but before I do that, people are just dying for me to give them shoutouts. Uh, first one here is Amaron Tech Help. If you like his videos on um, Firefox uh, making browsers your default and Windows programs, subscribe to him. Next guy, I shoot Luke. I'm going to be posting the uh, channels on their video description. All you just do is click and subscribe so everything helps. And also, Lincoln Park 217 217. If you like Lincoln Park, subscribe to his videos. Alright, so I just got a request from Damon's Critter. I believe that that's what his name is. He wants me to give a little video on how to keep a pokey, a sling pokey, nor less. Uh, before I do that, um, little news on the Alex 80 shipment. He just sent me a reply today. It's actually going to take longer than I thought it would be. It's not going to be next week. It'll probably be a bit longer. Uh, because why? Because I uh, I ordered some Vicularias. Uh, you know what they are. Part of my shipment. Uh, I ordered some uh, Purpuria and um, Ine Metallica. Problem is with uh, in Canada, Vicularias are ascites in here. So that means it's endangered. So they have to refill up the form and I'll have to wait again, so. So now she's making a web bed, and that's where she's going to um, flip over on its back and start to molt. Sweet. So this is from my Pompavidius Platyama, the Brazilian pink bloom bird eater. And she's going to get big. Assuming they get up to six inches in length. Yeah, sweet. Alrighty now, back to the video now. The Darmin's Critter requested me to give a little video on how to take care of the pokey sling. Well, pretty much I just keep them like any other pokies, just on a smaller scale. So you really want to use tall enclosures like um, like this one right here. This is just a vacuum jar to store your macadamia nuts. So all I did is just drill some holes on the side. So let's open up my cage and show you what you need. Okay, so you're looking at a typical arboreal setup. This is from my uh, Polcotheria petersoni, the ghost ornamental. So you barely keep it in a tall enclosure because these are arboreals. So this is pretty good for any arboreal uh, tarantula species, you know, like the pokies, the Samopoas, Tapnikinia, Sifikilaria, Stramatopelma, Hedoscadra, and many others. So all I did is add substrate in here, just potting soil and uh, vermiculite mix. This is just add some sphagnum moss, you know, for humidity. But for pokies, you don't really need to be that humid. 75 to 80 percent is pretty sufficient. You just miss the cage once in a week. So basically, you just add some uh, hollow logs or pieces of bark on the firewood to so make them concave because that's where the spider likes to hide. So you have the little um, opening that they like to go under here, and as well here too. That's where she likes to hide. Sweet. So I'll show you another typical one. Okay, this is my possibly my favorite pokey. One of my favorites, actually. My Pocotheria Miranda. Uh, the Bengal Spotted Ornamental. She's a female. She's approaching around two and a half inches right now. So you can see I just used a piece of bark and coiled it up into a little hollow log so she can actually hide under there. It's perfect for most uh, pokies. And if you want I'll show you my Safusca cage. Very very similar. And here the Fasciata. You can actually use um, cherry jars. And uh, they like it. And I think I'm going to get a molt soon from my Eclair Versicolor because she made a web tunnel. Sweet. Yeah, so pretty much keep them like ordinary arboreals, but on a smaller scale. So hopefully this helps uh, Darman's Critter. Yeah, Pocotheria Safusca Lowland. I need a Highland form. That'd be, that'd be cool to own. Yeah, just pretty much keep them like any arboreal. Just 
These are pretty good enclosures for one to two inch spiderlings. Uh, these are just cans. Uh, these enclosures are just perfect for one to two and a half inch uh, spiderlings or juvies. These are just candy jars that you can get from the dollar store or the grocery store. All you do is just drill some holes or pick holes and you're good. So that's why I keep all my arboreals, you know, like my head of scotch or maculata and there's the admin. Uh, let's see. I also keep the same way for my Samapoas Pulker, Panama Blonde, if you want to show it to you. I think I can manage to do that. And there she is. Yeah, very, very mean tarantula. Just almost as mean as my tappy. <clears throat> and also Viclari Viclarian, same, same setup. Just a hollow log, some substrate, and a water dish, especially with Avix, because Avix really need high humidity, especially in their sling stage. And also, I keep it the same way for my Samopoas reduncus, the Costa Rican orange mouth. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about what to feed uh, pokies around this size. You could just give them adult crickets. And they'll be fine. I give my Miranda at least one or two. Something like my Peter Senai, my Ghost Ornamental. Uh, I give it the same amount. And for arboreals this size, at half an inch, I just give it um, pinhead crickets, which are just baby crickets. And they'll all suffice. I just keep them like regular teas, just mainly on a smaller scale. So for half an inches, just a pill jar is just fine for them. So hopefully it can get one of my tarantulas to molt and hopefully catch it on film. Alright, so once again, subscribe to Amaron's Tech Help if you're interested in how-to videos on computers. Uh, I shoot Luke and Lincoln Park 217-217. Alright, peace guys.